So when I work with families, a lot of times they come to us, one of the fears that they have is that they'll never be matched with an expecting mom. And the reality of that is that's true. They're, they might not be matched with an expecting mom, but I am a firm believer in all my years of working with adoption. Adoption is not if, it's when. If a family is persistent and they stay with it, no matter what happens, no matter what they experience or they go through the heartache, if they stick with it, in my experience, I've had every family be able to match and be able to adopt a child. And so we're going to talk more about that today on on all about adoption. Hi, I'm Stephanie A. I'm the founder and executive director here at Adoption and Beyond. And I'm going to talk about the fear that a family will never be matched with an expecting mom. So there are three pieces of advice that I have to increase your chances of having an opportunity to be matched with an expecting mom. And my first advice is to work with more than one adoption professional. The more uh, times that you put yourself out there to be available to be chosen and to be shown to expecting moms, the more opportunities you're going to have to to be chosen. And so we're firm believers in not putting all your eggs in one basket and to work with more than one adoption professional. And that can look many different ways. And we help families guide on, on what that can look like for their family. But uh, networking out and expanding that wa uh, net as wide as you possibly can. That's the number one piece of advice I have. My second advice is to make sure that your preferences for a child are as wide as you possibly can, which also includes your adoption budget. So the more that you are open to a specific kind of a child uh, that you want to adopt, the more opportunities you're going to have your profile to be shown. So for example, the more open you are about the race of the child, the gender of the child, the age of the child, the more open you are to the uh, mental health background on the expecting parents or any um, drugs and alcohol or that are used during pregnancy, the more open you are to any of those uh, those um, let's see, pieces, then the more opportunities you're going to have your profile to be shown and more opportunities you're going to have to be matched with an expecting mom. So making sure your preferences are open as you feel comfortable. We don't want a family going beyond their comfort level, uh, but just know the more open you are, the more opportunities you'll have. So that's my second tip. So moving on to my third tip is to be sure that you have a professional adoption profile done. A profile is what expecting moms look at to help them learn more about your family and to determine whether you're the right family that she would like to work with on an adoption plan. And, you know, I always say you never have a second chance to make a first impression. And so the, the, uh, profile, I believe, is the most vital piece of this entire adoption journey, and I recommend working with a professional. There are lots of great adoption profile professionals, and I'm going to link to some of my favorites below that you can be sure that you have a professional profile done. So those are my three tips and advice for um, making sure that uh, you have more opportunities to be matched with an expecting mom and to ease your fears of never being matched. So I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.